Boys and girls, I want you guys to meet Bertha, all right? She's a 2016 Chevy Colorado Z71 Trail Boss, and oh, let me get out of the car. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the car, like some of the features, that type of thing, but before I do that, I just wanna talk for a second about the car and that type of thing and how I, why I went about buying this car. So basically about, what was it, two months ago, Corn, that I ruthlessly totaled my car? It was it about two months? Yeah, it was two months ago. Two months, cut that. So I think I told you guys this in the past. Basically, about two months ago, I totaled my other car. Thankfully, I didn't get hurt. The other person didn't get hurt. Their car was not at all damaged, so that was really good. My car, I guess, was just built like shit, and so I totaled it. So I decided that if I'm gonna get a new car, I'm not gonna buy another car that's like not cheap, but another car that I'm gonna wanna get rid of in like a year or two. I decided to go all out, guys, and the car that I'm about to show you guys, her name's Bertha. Corn's car is not named Bertha. Yes, it is. It's Bertha yeah. number two. Fuck you. No, Corn thinks his car's named Bertha, whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let, let's just pan her over, meet Bertha. Boom. So basically I decided to go with like the matte black look and the reason why I decided to go with the Chevy Colorado is because literally if you go with like a Ford F-150, right? Like a Ford F-150 for this price, for the price that I got this truck, um, I literally would have gotten a complete base model. So literally like the, it would have been a Ford um, F-150 XLT, which doesn't have any leather seats, doesn't have anything inside. So this car is all the bells and whistles, which I'm gonna show you guys. But that's why I wanted to get the Chevy Colorado, just because I could get a really good bang for my buck. And as soon as I saw this bitch, I literally fell in love with it. So let's show you guys the inside. What the fuck is up, you buttercup? I didn't see you guys over there, my bad. But the interior, as you guys can see, this is not the interior, but we got the front thing right here. I don't know what to call this, but the front screen, we got the nav. We got, I don't even know what this is. We got, click on this. I can connect my phone, do all that stuff. Basically, I can connect my uh, Apple Music to the car. Show them this right here. It's got all the bells and whistles. I can literally, when I'm talking on the phone, right, this is like a speaker so people can hear me better. I can text through this. Like I said, it's got the navigation. We got, hold on, show them right here. Like the back of the seat right here, right? We got the heating and cooling seats right here. Um, we got a super deep thing right here with some uh, good belt. Show what's in there. Oh, no, I'm kidding. We got some gum in here, guys. And what else? Let's see. Back seats are heated too? Yeah, the back seats are heated as well. I know I'm going to get people who comment down below like, fuck you. Why do you get a Chevy Colorado? Why didn't you get this car X, Y, and Z for the same price? The reason why I got this, guys, is because it has everything that I could ever need in it. And as soon as I saw it from the outside, I just fuck it. I just, I just wanted to buy it. I simply liked it. You guys will be able to see the lights on the top, but I have two lights on the top of the car. I guess going through trails late at night, and there's super bright lights. And we have that because this is, like I said, it's a Z71 Trail Boss. So um, it's one of the higher trim levels of the Chevy Colorado. I don't know if it's the highest one. Absolutely freaking love this truck so far. It's got four wheel drive, 3.6 liter V6 is what this car is. A 305 horsepower. Not sure if that's really that good, but I mean, it picks up for me compared to my old Chevy. Well, I mean not Chevy my old Volkswagen Jetta so yeah I'm gonna enjoy this thing guys comment down below if you guys know some features about this car that I'm not even showing you guys but yeah man super freaking excited and blessed to be able to drive this thing around sometimes I get in it like I feel like I'm literally just like a dad who's like about to go pick up their son from school it's pretty much it with the car I'm gonna show you guys some clips like I said of the interior and the exterior of the vehicle and then I'm gonna go beat corn in some 2k and then we're gonna go to the gym later what? We got all the boys over here. What's up? What's up, bro? Leave me, leave me. Oh, what up, bro? What up, bro? Where's Jesse at, dude? Jesse's worse than you, bro. Is, are you training with us? As late as you are. Are dog. you about to train with us? Nah. Nah? I can't. I don't fit in with Come you. Come on, bro. There's not enough space for me, dude. Yeah, I was going to go ask James to get me some sketchy pre workout so I could be stronger than you, but if we're, if we're working on the bench, I have no chance. Are, are you don't want to do overhead press? Yeah, next. I'm doing overhead press first, huh? I want to bench first. Oh, look who showed up, bro. Finally. Shut up. Look who it is. Yo, you have yeah, never, Jesse. you have never beat me to the gym ever. I feel, it's I feel true. awful. I will Today's be honest, the day. guys. But every time I train with both of these guys, we got Jesse and Ron. I'm late every single time. But every time. yeah, anyways, 
<laughs> we're about to get into a push workout. And Jess, remember last time I told you we're hitting chest, we just fucking did overhead press? Yeah. We're doing the same thing again. So, Woo! let's go. Yeah, I don't know. But what do you think? 225 salty. overhead press? Yeah, for 20? For, for, Fuck it. for 20? Fuck it. Maybe for two? Know, we'll see. All right, get it. This kid's been lifting for like, How long have you been lifting now? Like a year and a half. A year and a half. And how much? What did you weigh when you first started lifting? 225. 225. What was your bench? If you had that my bench when I first started was like, okay, my bench squat and deadlift when I first started was 155, 220, yeah, 225 deadlift and squat was like 185. And now what are all your lifts? I just hit 455 squat. Did you really? Yeah, like yesterday. All right, but my deadlift is 475 and my bench is 285, I think. In a year and a half? Yeah. You're all that's how you that's how you do it right 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 here. Yeah right here. Whoa, holy shit. Whoa. That's what CrossFit is, right? right. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. What are you gonna try to work up to for three? Like what would be optimal today for three? I have no idea. I have no done idea. So long, maybe like 195. 195 for all right. Maybe we'll see. How's it feeling? It's not bad. Not, not bad. bad. You got 185 in the bar. What are you just gonna hit this for one? Just for two. One single. What? You're gonna hit this for two? One. All right, let's go. Whatever. All right, just one. All right, let's go. Ron, you got 225 for three in you. I don't want to hit 195 for three. Let's go. Come right. on. Gradual. Gradual. You ready to deadlift this bitch? Just, yeah, pretty much. All right, ready? Yeah. Holy shit, man. It's not honest, Ron. I want honest. Whoa. Sloppy. It wasn't. It, was it wasn't the typical. <laughs> ah! I don't know. Let's see. Five. Can you, can you get this one, bro? I gotta show Ron up. Get 235 and do one more rep. So, yeah. Here goes Ron for an assisted deadlift. Holy fuck! This is gonna be heavy. All right. Oh, ah. Take it. <laughs> oh! Close. Close, but no cigar. Get it, come on. Guys, comment down below if I look like a frat douche from like Sigma Pi Alpha with my hair like this. <laughs> I feel like I do. I'm hit this for 20, you got no dick and balls, bro. <laughs> I like my dick and balls, so. <laughs> well, there you go, my dick and balls. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's get it. Come on. Next exercise we're going to do is the incline dumbbells. And a lot of people ask me what's the best thing to do for chest. And there's a lot of different things you can do that are really good for building your chest. But in my opinion, the two best things for building your chest are going to be the incline dumbbells or the incline bench press because you're going through a longer range of motion. You're gonna get literally more muscle fibers involved on an incline as opposed to a flat bench or a flat dumbbell bench. So we're gonna try the hundreds here for three sets of eight. So we'll see. All right guys, so I got a little bit ahead of myself with the hundreds. They felt a little bit heavy after the overhead press. So we're gonna lighten the weight back down to 90s. And we're gonna actually try to go a little bit deeper, get better range of motion. Because we're trying to cut out the half repping bullshit that I tend to do. Come on.
When are you going to be doing your next show? Probably next November. Next November? Yeah. So you did, you've done one show before, right? Yeah. When you did that show, did you enjoy the entire experience that you have with it? The entire experience? Definitely not. No? But, nah. but you want to do it again though, why? Well, well, it's enjoyable. Why do you want to do it wrong? The whole process, it, the whole thing sucks. Nah. <laughs> so basically, guys, you know how you guys always comment, you're like, yo, do a show, Dylan. That's why I don't do a show, guys. Someone who does a show and is doing another show tells me, yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, everything sucks about it. I mean, you just look shredded. But I mean, for the one day, though, for that day, you're standing on stage. That's the best that's day. That's what I'm saying. saying. That's the day you finally get to eat. So. Then you look, because I'm just saying, Jesse's also done one show, right? Yeah. So do you have something better to say about competing than Ron had to say? Well, my next show is way before his. Okay. My next show is like eight we 18 weeks out. So, but I'm saying, about the experience of competing, like what did you like about it? Because everyone tells I me to compete. Stepping on, stepping on stage, and because I was fat, like yeah. I liked not being fat anymore. Yeah, so just to prove so that yourself. Was nice. So like having abs and like being shredded and like seeing like the main, like that's cool. Yeah. But like the dieting and the constant like, the constant just cardio <laughs> and, sucks. Yeah, so that part sucks. But would you say that? It helped make you more disciplined, like so. You took, oh, yeah. you took enough out of it to be to want to do another show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. It, it's almost like you, it's a love hate relationship. Yeah. So like, I hated doing cardio. I hated waking up so early, and I hated the long days and like saying no to friends going out and getting pizza because we prepped over the summer, and yeah. that was fucking god awful. Yeah. That was horrible. Yeah, but like, and like, I missed my twenty first birthday. So like my oh. sh my show was October fourteenth. My birthday so you just was cried. October sixth. So you literally just cried in your room. My birthday, I Bro, started my peak dad. week. Oh, yeah, no, I started <laughs> peak week uh, on your twenty first birthday. Oh. On my twenty first birthday, so I couldn't drink or couldn't do anything. Like, so. It was fucking horrible. But it was it was totally worth the experience. Like yeah. because like I'm such a competitive person yeah. that I loved it. So you had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, because a lot of people tell you guys always say, oh, compete, 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 right? I get that all the time, but I already know I'm like, I'm mega ultra competitive. Like, Ron, you know I'm a competitive guy, right? I'm a competitive guy, so I feel like if I did go that route, I know that I wouldn't just want to do one show and I'd want to take it really serious. So if I do compete, it's going to be when I feel like my physique could actually be able to give people like a real run for their money. So whenever that is, that's when I'm going to compete. Maybe in, like, maybe in five years, maybe six, I don't know. But I feel like right now, I no rush. No rush. No so I have to do it next week, compete next week. All right, next week. Good workout. Yeah, dude. Any last words for the vlog, man? Uh, any last words for the vlog? Any last words? Um, you gotta think about it for a second. Damn. All right. Ten, What's nine, <laughs> eight, uh, seven. Put me on spots. Make it very hard. <laughs>